and heels. One gorgeous afternoon, I was walking in downtown Canmore. I paused to look at the mountains and thought, how blessed I am to live in this valley. I kept walking and feeling happy and naturally ended up going into my favorite shoe store. <laughs> Hi there, says the lady. Let me know if you need sizes. I said thank you and walked straight to the clearance area, wondering why they usually put clearance items in the back corner while all the new, while all the new items are boldly arranged in front. Is there a marketing strategy behind it? <laughs> Before I get to the sales shelf, my eyes were nailed to a pair of black and gold patterned two-inch kitten heels with a zipper at the back. I stood there admiring those shoes sitting beautifully at the top shelf. The sales lady noticed that I was just standing there staring at the shoes. She said, can I help you with your size? No thanks, I replied and left the store, I was going home. But after a few steps, I turned around and went back to the shoe store. Hi there again, said the lady. Do you have these shoes in size eight, I asked. I tried them on and they fit perfectly. Well, okay, they may, may, they, maybe they were a little narrow for my feet. <laughs> I walked around the shoe store in the kitten heels. Sit down, stand up. I looked in the mirror and finally made my decision. I bought the shoes. Walking out of the store, I thought that buying shoes is the same as a lot of the important decisions in life. There are so many things that you have to consider. In August 2003, I made one of the hardest decisions of my life to work overseas. It took me many sleepless nights to decide, should I go or not? It would mean leaving my family behind, but only to give them a brighter future. I told myself it was just two years, but two years became four years, six years, then eight years in Hong Kong. Countless nights I cried and wanted to go home, but I always came back to the reason why I was doing this hearing great stories from my friend who had left Hong Kong for Canada. I thought about moving to Canada. It would mean better working conditions and better money, but what excited me most was the thought of being reunited with my family. I was blessed to have the opportunity of working with a great family. They had three kids who I treat as if they were my own and they accepted me as part of their family. And on May 25th, 2015, I came back to Canada, not alone, but with my husband and my three boys, and I was so happy. Even though my family was here in Canada, I still worked day and night. One afternoon, I came, I rushed home to grab a quick bite for supper. As I was going out the door again, my son Nico came running to ask me, Mama, where are you going? You just got home. I told him I wouldn't be long, just a couple of hours. Nico said, Mama, how much will they pay you tonight? I said, maybe $50. But he begged, can I give you $100 and just stay home? I had to go. But as I was driving, I realized my son was right. What's the point of bringing my family over when I'm never home? From that time on, as much as I can, I keep my evenings free for my family now that I have them with me. I remember buying those black and golden shoes, though they didn't actually fit. <laughs> Life can be uncomfortable after you make a big decision, but I still keep walking along. Thank <laughs> you.